Well, the moons control the tides. I mean, it, it, it's plain and simple. Um, they're, around here, we have what are called diurnal tides. We have two highs and two lows during the day. Now, where do those come from? Well, it's, it's a combination of three forces, essentially. You have the gravitational pull of the moon. Then you have the rotation of the Earth, the centripetal force of the Earth, and then you have gravity, all right, counteracting so the water doesn't fly off from the planet, which is a good thing. But what happens is you have the Earth here and you have the moon here. They, the moon has a gravitational pull on the Earth. The Earth has a gravitational pull on the moon. That's why it stays in orbit. Now, you don't see that gravitational pull on the land surface so much, but you do see it with the water. And with the moon over here, as it pulls, what it does is it causes the water to bulge out towards the moon. There's one of your high tides right there. Now, at the same time that you're having a bulge here, the Earth and the moon are rotating. So what happens? Well, you get a bulge wherever the moon is. But we make this the moon now and here's the Earth, all right? We've got a bulge here, but with rotation of the Earth, we get for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So you get another bulge over on the opposite side of the Earth from the rotation. It's just like riding around in one of the carnival rides where you get pushed out and you try to get thrown off. Well, there's your second bulge. There's your other high tide. In between, over here and over here, well, if you're pulling the water out here, you got to take it from somewhere. So you take it from here. There's your lows right there. And what happens? The moon moves around, and as it does, those high spots, the bulges, and the low spots move around. You're in one spot. You're in one position. And they move past you as the moon goes around. There's your high and low tides that occur every day. Now, they don't occur in the same cycle as the rotation of the Earth. We know that the Earth makes one rotation every 24 hours. The moon rotates around us every 24 hours and 50 minutes. So every day, the tides are offset by about 50 minutes. They're later by about 50 minutes every day until they catch back up again. And that's what's known as a lunar month. It's about 27 days, all right? That through 27 days, losing 50 minutes every day, after 27 days, you're back to the same starting point.